What is up guys, Levi the Great here, and today is going to be a video about my new setup, my new camera. God, dude, that is ridiculous. I have a zit at the corner of my nose, and it hurts so bad. Yesterday I tried squeezing it, it just hasn't developed. It's one of those, like, you have to let it develop before you squeeze it. Anyways. Anyways, so this is going to be about uh, my new camera setup. I invested a total in this in this whole setup with my book bag here i have right here i'll show on later in the clip or later in the video um the bag included i have my gopro stuff all of my setup and a new camera the zv1 sony um i did my research on it and i thought this would be the best camera for me personally so i got it so we're gonna go ahead and get some clips and fucking go back to my crib and i'm gonna show you the setup two thousand dollars i never would think i would be uh going this deep into the rabbit hole but it's exciting to me so let's let's just move on to the little b-roll i guess see ya
have an observant eye, do have different clothes. It's a different day, a little bit busy. But this is about the setup that I that I bought. It was about two the what? Today's your birthday. Oh. Oh yeah. Today's my birthday. But this is about the setup uh, that I pay for and because I want to be more dedicated and give you guys better content because the iPhone isn't cutting it. It's amazing for YouTubers that are just starting out, but if you really want to get into it, you just got to invest. It's like with any craft. If you really want to get into it and you want to give out, you have to you have to give to get back better, um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just giving in more, more stuff so I can give better content to you guys. But let's move on. This is a $50 camera bag. Um, at first when I got it, it was really confusing. You'll see why. But let's start at the top pocket. Now there is a little, I don't know if you guys can see this, a little pocket. I don't put anything in here now. It's supposed to be for your phone. My phone's too big, so I'll probably put like maybe my wallet or something in that, depending on the day. Usually I keep my wallet in my pocket, but if I'm wearing shorts or something, I'll put it in there. Um, that don't have pockets. Um, so let's go to the top, the very top, here. Boom. This will unfold, and I have my accessories. So for here, I got my $150 uh, tripod. You ask, why the fuck did you buy a $150 tripod? Honestly, it's because, part of it's because of Sony. I want everything to match. I don't know why. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's a little small tripod. It's really nice, though. But this isn't the reason why it's $150. Obviously, name brand is more expensive. But most of the reasons because the accessories it has. I don't know if you guys can see it from there. Probably. Because I'm using my nice camera, which you'll see at the very end of the video. But um, it has, like, I don't know what this lock thing is. I don't know what C1 is. I'll have to do more research into it. But obviously, photo, you press that. takes a photo for you. Um, and for this, well, I had to put in the battery. Um, this little like middle notch, I can press up or down and it moves the, the camera uh, electronically and, and I can get a better angle and I press that, starts a video. So that's the tripod. I don't know if I mentioned $2,000 I had to invest. So um, I'm not really doing it for the money, but I mean obviously it's nice to get it because I want to make it a living because it's something that I really enjoy. So I'm putting in the money investing and then here's my other accessory for my waterproof GoPro for when I go surfing which you guys have already seen a couple of those videos now plan on doing more but during fall I really don't like cold water so I probably won't come out with uh, surfing videos until it gets a little bit warmer again and then so we have the top portion the little mini compartment and then the top uh, pocket and this bag's supposed to be what waterproof because it's made out of a certain leather I can at, buy a spray to make it last longer, but probably won't do it. Maybe, maybe not. So I'm gonna unzip this middle compartment. This is where the juice. This is the meat. This is this is the dopeness of this bag. So it opens up this way. So I'm gonna open up this way. This is where all the stuff happens. So the reason why I said it was confusing from the rip was because there. The, I don't know if you guys can see. This is Velcro. So you can set it up, you can customize it how you want it. This this Velcro sticks to this kind of cloth. That's why it's like soft cloth, because the Velcro will stick to it. And you can kind of make shift how you want to um, organize your bag. My dog is barking, I want to spank the shit out of it right now. But um, this is how I have it set up. So this is all of my, this is my GoPro case. It came with when I bought the set. And if I unzip it here, I have all my accessories for my GoPro. Bands, um, a little flotation device, some, uh, I think this is called like a J-hook. I could put it on like a helmet if I have a sticky thing, put it on a helmet and stuff like that. Just nifty stuff you can do with GoPro. And so initially I had this, but now I can put it in my bag so it makes it more organized and less messy. So I put that, obviously I made the bigger portion for that, specifically. And then my camera, which you'll see at the end of the video, goes in this bag because I want to keep it protected. I have little attachments that go onto it. Right now, it came with this nice little fluffy thing. It makes the camera look cute, but it's not just for cuteness. It's also, because there's a microphone on top of the camera, and it goes on it, and it it's windproof. So if it's windy, 
it helps a lot with the wind noise that you hear if I'm like out on like a soccer field it's very windy that helps it a lot don't put her in here She's we'll take her outside walking. take her outside then sometimes I just want to strangle your sister okay she just know, doesn't think so sometimes do um, but anyway, let's go on. So that was where my camera, and the reason why I put my camera in there, not the top or anywhere else, because at the center of the bag is where it's most protected. So if it does fall, it doesn't fall at the bottom. Bottom takes impact, top. Middle is the most safest place. And then this little mini compartment. I have my battery charger, um, my GoPro chargers, um, all the little small things I need. And then I have this little chip. So let's say I want to import some shit from my GoPro camera or my um, regular camera. I put the SD card, bang, in there. And this is a USB. So I just plug it into my USB or to my computer. And I can upload all the stuff that I have on my cameras. Then let's move on to the final little pocket. This little small pocket at the bottom is my GoPro camera. So GoPro, again, like five to 600. I think it was 600 because I got the accessories with it. And again, I just keep it at the bottom here. GoPro is pretty durable. Um, but that's all, that's that's the juice, that's the meat of my setup right there. And then I have a little more, uh, more little small compartments. I put my paperwork, my uh, year warranty for my camera in there. I don't want to bring it out because it's a hassle. And then in this little pocket here are all my batteries. I have four batteries for that one, so I don't have to worry about that. I have them all charged at all times. So I don't have to worry about not getting footage, okay? So that's my that's my setup. So let's go to let's go to my actual the the most expensive part of my setup, which is the camera. The camera is the one that records everything. So like it's it's the most important because it records my content. One little small thing. This is like a like a what what do you call this? Satchel. Satchel. Um, it's like a satchel type thing. I can just put it. I you guys have already seen me wear it, but I just put it across like that. It has a nice little metal hook, so I don't have to worry about ripping. And yeah, it's pretty comfortable. So now let's go and record that camera with my iPhone camera, which I used to do my YouTube videos on, but I've upgraded. So let's switch on to that. Okay, so. Now, the camera that's going to be the, the thing that's the most important for me that I'm going to really um, focus on. I might get more uh, accessories with it to make it a little bit like better, such as like a microphone attaches to it, depending on what type of video, like an interview or something. But that's beyond the point that I'm trying to get across. I got the ZV-1 Sony. So if you go on Amazon, it's about roughly $800. Um, I did a lot of research, uh, YouTube videos to find which camera I wanted. And this is the one that I wanted because it's less complicated, but has a lot of, uh, it's quality in it's film taking, like me meaning it's clear. And what I really liked about it is most cameras will focus on the face. It finds a face and it focuses on that. This camera will focus on the eye and focus on that. She just keeps coming in here, doesn't she? She um, wants to. So, um, yeah, this camera focuses on the eye. So the focus point's a lot more crisp, and, and it just it focuses a lot better. Um, so, again, if I look on the back side, it has buttons like a typical camera. And it has, this is a touch screen, so this can flip out. So say if I'm vlogging, I can see myself, so it makes it a lot easier to know what I'm doing. Um, and then the really fancy part that I like is if I turn it on, see how it's flat? If I turn to its side, watch ha watch what happens when I turn it on. Boom, that's just so satisfying. Um, so yeah, that's the whole, the whole setup. Um, so hopefully all the content you guys will enjoy way more. And that's about it for this video. Is it in there? Fantastic. All right, Good. this will be the end of the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will be coming out with a lot more content um, Right now I'm doing one video a week. I plan on uh, Dedicating myself to doing more content hopefully getting my friends involved and stuff like that. But anyways Love always peace out